Canada's Defence Minister Peter McKay is getting set for a groundbreaking trip to the Far East. He's going to participate in an Asian Defence and Security Conference, which has become known as the Shangri-La Dialogue. And he's going to meet his Chinese counterpart, Peter McKay becoming the first Western Minister of Defence to do so in 10 years. Ahead of that trip, Minister Peter McKay, our guest in Ottawa, and good to see you ahead of your trip. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, Heather. Thank you. I want to focus on, on China because it is unique. The meeting with China's defense minister, as I mentioned, the first Western minister to do so in 10 years. What is your stated goal? What is Canada's goal heading into that meeting? Well, you're right. It is, uh, it is a unique opportunity. General Chang was just uh, sworn into office last month. So to be received in China, it's an opportunity for Canada to set down some markers on a, a whole range of issues, whether they be trade, whether they be issues of mutual concern around security. We are seeing increased engagement by China in things such as the, the international uh, naval exercise known as RIMPAC. Canada is a Pacific nation, as you know, and uh, for that reason, engagement, we feel, is the best way to reach out and have an influence in China. Uh, we also want to discuss serious issues such as uh, cyber attacks. We want to talk about ways in which China can become further engaged in international peacekeeping, for example, at the UN, also uh, economic forums like the IMF. We do uh, $70 billion in trade now with China. They are our second largest trading partner. Engagement is good for Canada, good for our economy, and good for our security. Can I come back to just what you said, which is cyber attacks? Because I was looking through some international headlines on this very point today. For example, uh, reports that Chinese hackers stole top secret blueprints of Australia's spy agency headquarters. That's out today. And also even more disquieting, the Washington Post citing U.S. Defense Department documents and saying that Chinese hackers have gained access to designs of more than two dozen major U.S. weapons systems. That's unsettling for your new partner, Minister McKay. Yes, and uh, this is an issue we, uh, we intend to raise. Uh, it's a subject matter of concern everywhere. Uh, our critical infrastructure, our systems, our communications uh, are being attacked, and uh, we need to have that dialogue. Uh, simply being in a cocoon and uh, pretending the issue is going to go away will not work. But when you say uh, raise reason, and have a dialogue, yes. Well, Sorry. we need to bring these uh, specific concerns to China and, uh, and hear from them. And, and how will you put it to them? How do you plan to bring it up and, and address it with them? Well, diplomatically, of course, mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we have a very good uh, opportunity, in my view, to open the dialogue in a way that is respectful, but uh, clearly lay down some markers that uh, we need their cooperation, uh, we need their involvement uh, in efforts to secure systems. Why this is particularly pertinent came to our attention again this week in, in reports. This is the National Post and Post Media News citing documents related to a case here in our country. And this is the Jeffrey Delisle spy case. Uh, questions about whether Canada systems, whether Canada's Defense Department didn't heed international audits and secure itself from threats and breaches and whether that contributed to the whole spy case wasn't strong enough to prevent Jeffrey Delisle from stealing secrets and selling it to the Russians for five years. So if there are vulnerabilities in Canada's spy system and spy mechanisms, that's particularly worrisome if you're if you're dealing about to deal with a country which is just you know alleged to have done these things both in in the U.S. and Russia in, in Australia. Clearly, all that you've said uh, and the report from the Auditor General just a short time ago uh, has uh, raised certain concerns. We are uh, responding and have been responding, quite frankly, for some time in, in terms of increasing uh, our security, our measures, our, our methodology, and uh, because it is an issue of national security, it, it's. Uh, uh, improper for me to go further in terms of the public discussion, but I can assure you there are uh, people specifically tasked, in fact we have increased the number of individuals now uh, who are tasked with improving our security, improving our cooperation with our Five Eyes community, our allies that is, and uh, becoming the beneficiaries of greater international security measures uh, and steps that have been taken by other countries. Okay, so reassurance that those systems are strengthened in the face of any new and growing threats from That's correct. from this kind uh, kind of hacker. Um, interested in in China wanting to meet Canada, what do you think's in it for China? Well, I, I think the same 
type of goal uh, would exist for China. They, they see uh, markets here. They see uh, increased security uh, as in their benefit as well. They are also victims of terrorism. We know that um, the, uh, the participation in the naval exercise, RIMPAC, that I mentioned in the Pacific uh, is something that allows them to interact with other countries like Canada. Uh, and there are shared goals. Uh, we need to have a greater understanding of uh, China, in my view, and there is a benefit to Canada that flows, but also clearly a benefit to China as well. Minister McKay, uh, I want to leave that subject, and you'll head off, and we'll be covering that, of course, as you meet with uh, your counterpart in China for the first first in 10 years to do so, so it is an interesting. I want, before I let you go, I want to, uh, if I could, just address the matter that we're following. It's our top story today, of course, what's happening in Ottawa. You won't be there for question period, but the Prime Minister will be there. Uh, and we expect the Senate expense scandal to come before question period today. I'm wondering, we haven't had much access to cabinet ministers and to government members on this story, so I have a chance to speak to, to you. Um, it's arguably the first major scandal facing the government, in which you're a key player. Is it fatal? I'm sorry, is it? Is it fatal, the scandal? Oh, look, uh, I think the Prime Minister will address uh, questions today, as we have been addressing uh, since this story broke. Uh, we are very committed to making changes in the Senate that will restore public confidence, bring back a, a greater sense uh, that, uh, that there is a role. Uh, but uh, certainly, we're, we're going to address uh, the issues through question period, through other, uh, other forums such as this. Minister Peter McKay, I appreciate your time today on this, heading off to the Shangri-La Dialogue and then to China. We'll have more coverage of that trip, and thank you for your time, sir. I appreciate it as always. Thank you, Heather. Very best to you.